Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Montesino and my topic is immigration slash migration from a liberalist perspective. But this is a debate, so I will be also sharing point of views from the realist, the critical theory, and the constructivist perspective. So I personally believe that the liberalist principles can provide us with a solid framework for understanding the benefits and the challenges that come along with immigration and migration and how we can create policies that promote greater freedom, equality, and prosperity for everyone. Let's begin talking about the benefits of immigration and migration from a liberalist perspective. Liberalists believe in free movement of people across borders as long as it's done in a safe and orderly manner, a legal manner. So this means that people should have the freedom to move to other countries for work, for education, family reunification, to escape persecution and violence, that they should be able to move for any just reason as long as they do it safely, orderly, and legally. When people are free to move, they can find opportunities to match their skills and aspirations and contribute to the economy and society of their new home. Now, immigration and migration also promote cultural exchange and diversity, which are essential for a vibrant and inclusive society. When people from different backgrounds come together, they can learn from each other, share their traditions and values, and create new forms of art, music, and cuisine. So liberalists believe that all of this helps enrich our collective experience and challenges us to see the world from different perspectives. However, this is a debate. Let's also acknowledge the challenges and objections to immigration and migration from other perspectives, the realist, the critical theory, and the constructivist perspectives. A realist might argue that immigration and migration are driven primarily by economic and security considerations rather than by liberal ideals like individual freedom and human rights. Liberalists, I'm sorry, realists might argue that states have a legitimate interest in controlling their borders and managing the flow of people and goods across them. So realists, in conclusion, may argue and will argue that unrestricted immigration can lead to social and economic instability and that it may compromise national security and sovereignty. A critical theorist may point out that immigration policies may perpetuate inequalities and discrimination as some groups may be more privileged than others in accessing citizenship and rights. A critical theorist will argue that from a liberalist perspective, the liberalists are too focused on individual rights and market forces and fail to consider the broader social and economic structures that contribute to inequality and marginalization. Constructivists may argue that immigration policies may reflect and reinforce cultural stereotypes and prejudices and that they may hinder the development of shared norms and values across borders. A constructivist will argue that liberalist perspective on immigration and migration are too focused on universal values and fail to recognize the importance of culture and identity in shaping social and political attitudes. They might argue that immigration policies are often shaped by cultural and historical factors that are unique to each society and that a more nuanced approach is needed to understand the complex dynamics of, of migration and integration. So, how can liberalist principles address these challenges and objections? Well, first, liberalists believe in the rule of law and the protection of individual rights, which means that immigration policies should be fair, transparent, and accountable. This means that people should have access to due process, legal representation, and a fair hearing when they apply for immigration status. It also means that immigration policies should not discriminate on the basis of race, ethnicity, religion, gender, sexual orientation, none of that. Secondly, liberalists believe in the importance of social and economic integration, which means that immigrants and migrants should have access to education, healthcare, housing, and employment, employment opportunities that enable them to become a full and active members of their new communities. This requires investing in language and cultural training, promoting diversity and inclusion in workplaces and schools, and creating opportunities for civic participation and engagement. Liberal, liberals believe, liberalists believe that immigrants are welcome to come as long as they come legally, and they're welcome to benefit all of the benefits of the citizens of their new country, 
as long as they do everything legally and they have their cultural integration. Finally, liberalists believe in the power of international cooperation and diplomacy, which means that immigration policies should be guided by a spirit of mutual respect, dialogue, and collaboration. This means that countries should work together to address the root causes of migration, such as poverty, violence, and climate change, and create fair and humane policies that benefit both the sending and the receiving countries. In conclusion, Immigration and migration are complex issues that require nuanced and compassionate solutions. From a liberalist perspective, we can recognize the benefits of free movement and cultural exchange while also addressing the challenges and objections raised by other perspectives. Now, in my own personal opinion, as a child of immigrant parents and grandparents, I strongly identify with the liberalist, the liberalist perspective on immigration I believe that some of the world's most powerful nations, such as the United States, have the potential to improve their policies regarding immigration, particularly by promoting greater openness and inclusivity towards immigrants. I think it's also important to recognize that many people risk their lives in pursuit of better opportunities by, immigrate, by immigrating to these nations, and therefore it is crucial that we prioritize human rights and safety when developing immigration policies. Additionally, I believe that many countries have historically established restrictive immigration, immigration laws based on harmful biases that still stand today that are founded on anti-blackness, racism, classism, and elitism. And I think it is crucial that we challenge and address these harmful attitudes in order to create a more just and equitable world. Thank you.